Pete Doherty posed for a photo with his wife Katya Davidas at Glastonbury in Somerset on Saturday, after they got married in September 2021. Renowned for his drug-fueled youth and rocker antics, the 43-year-old guitarist and vocalist returned to the music festival this year after adopting a clean-living lifestyle and moving to France. He kept things casual in a black hoodie while his long-term partner went makeup-free and wore a matching jacket, as they cozied up for the photo. Pete famously married Kate Moss in a joke ceremony at the festival 11 years ago, the couple dated on and off from 2005 to 2007. A far cry from his bad boy naughty's image, Pete performed with bandmates Carl Barat, John Hassel, and Gary Powell. Despite disbanding in 2004, the band reunited in 2020 for a series of shows, and are set to perform together again as the music festival returns for the first time in three years. Pete was spotted in a navy vest and pair of shorts, as he leaned in to sign the tatted fan's arm while on the campsite. Known for a string of high-profile relationships in his heyday, the rocker was most notably in a tumultuous relationship with Kate Moss from 2005 to 2007. The pair attended Glastonbury together in 2005, continuing the relationship as the singer was at the height of his fame, with a reported £200 daily heroin and crack addiction. Revealing details of the relationship in his tell-all memoir Likely Lad, Pete described the couple's split following a series of blazing rows, which would see Kate hit him with his guitar. But despite his rowdy past, which even saw him serve two months in prison, Pete is now clean and enjoying life in France with his wife Katya Davidas. Katya is a keyboardist in Pete's other band, Puta Madres, which is his third musical project, following the Libertines and Baby Shambles. Admitting life in France makes it easier to be clean, Pete previously told The Guardian, it's not a big drugs area here. Then, of course, everything stopped. So all the circumstances combined to make it easier to be clean, even for a conniving scoundrel like myself. It just wasn't worth the aggravation. And as he prepares to take the stage again with the Libertines, the musician will debut his new image to the crowd of 200,000 people. Taking to the other stage, often dubbed the enemy stage, the Libertines are the first to kick of Glastonbury's Friday performances, followed on by Kay Tempest. Kicking off on Wednesday, Glastonbury has already welcomed a string of talent, as Thursday saw former Spice Girl Mel C take the stage in an energetic DJ set. Fat Boy Slim also made his mark in a pink onesie as he hit the decks at the Stonebridge Bar area of the festival, before his son Woody Cook played a set too. The festival is set to run until Sunday 26th of June, with stars such as Sam Fender, Billie Eilish, Kendrick Lamar and Noel Gallagher all set to take the stage.